Hello, my name is Aditya and I love to play Minecraft. This is the sixth video in my Minecraft tutorial series and today we're going to talk about redstone. Let's go into my redstone world now. First, what is redstone? Redstone is a logical on-off system that can be used to create elaborate and simple structures. Now I'm going to get some items out that we're going to use to build something. This here is redstone dust, the main component of redstone. Then there is a redstone torch, a redstone repeater, comparator, and a hopper. To get these items, you can go to your the redstone tab in your creative inventory. We're also going to need a chest for some later things. So let's build something now. I'm going to put a redstone torch and two redstone down. This redstone is on because it's bright. And when it's not on, it's really dark. So, on, off, on, off. Redstone can go up to 15 blocks before burning out. A redstone torch creates a 15 current, or the strongest current redstone can have. So here we have three blocks, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And this redstone here is off. Now, if I wanted to make it go back to current 15, I could put a repeater, just like in the real world. So, the repeater is on now. So, I have 15 current. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and that's off. Repeaters can also be set to a certain amount of delay. So, right now this is the shortest delay, but if I right click on it to make it the largest delay, you can see there's a delay between these two parts turning off and same thing when it turns on. There's also some other delay settings in between. So this is 1, 2, 3, and 4. They get more noticeable the higher the number is. Now we're going to talk about comparators. The first thing you want to know about these is that they can carry a current a very long distance. So this here is a current of one, right? Then if I put three comparators, or even more than that, then I have the same current of one. And you can see it's a current of one because this one is off. That's the ba that's one the best thing about comparators. The next thing you can do with them is you can do subtraction. So if I right click on it the and this torch is on, then this here is the first number and this is the second number. So if I make the first number 15, which is a torch, and this one is 13, because 15, 14, 13. Then I'll get an output of 2, because 15 minus 13 is 2. The next thing you can do with comparators is you can measure how much stuff is in a chest. Or any compar any container, really. So here's a chest, and here's a comparator pointing away from it. Then if I take some, say, diamond blocks, and then I put some in here. So if I, if I put one stack, it has a current of one. I put another stack. It has a current of two. But another stack has a current of still two, and so on. Every every one fifteenth of the container you add, the current goes up by one because there's fifteen possible currents. The the last important thing about comparators is that they can measure music discs in a jukebox. So if I take these two random music discs and I put this down so and I put this comparator down but I should, be, I should make it to 15 because you never know what each music disc could be so that's up to 15 let's say I take this first one and put in there it's at 1 so this must be the first music disc but this one it goes all the way up to like 12 so that's the last music disc. So then I'll pick these up and I'll break all this. So not going to do this. The last basic redstone component we're going to talk about are hoppers, which are my favorite personally. If I take this hopper and I put it down here, and then I can I throw this jukebox into it, it will go down to the bottom hopper. Because this hopper is pointing at that hopper. Then if I put a chest here, and some more hoppers, a little jukebox in there, 
it'll go down to the chest because hoppers can put things in chests. Another thing they can do is they can take things from chests. Now chests aren't the only thing they can take things from. They can take from like furnaces and other containers, but not all of them. So I put the jukebox in there, it'll go down to here. The last thing important about hoppers is if they're powered by redstone, then they won't give any they won't give anything, but they can still take things. So if I get some building materials out. Then I power this hopper right here, for instance. Then I can put the chest into there. It doesn't seem to work. This this feature of hoppers is kind of buggy, so it doesn't work sometimes. If you if you want to learn more about it, you can go to Minecraft Wiki. And really, you can do that for any of these redstone components. Now we're going to go on to some to some things I already built. This here is an automatic chicken farm, and here's how it works. The chickens lay eggs, which go into the hoppers and into the minecart with chest. Then the minecart with chest will go all the way up here, and it will put them into the dispenser, which will then fire them back at here and make more chickens. Then this this hopper um, hopper pulser here will sometimes unpower this piston, which will open up and let some chickens fall into the death chamber, where they will and their drops will go to this chest here. Sometimes the minecart stops because some chickens get in the way, so you have to repower it. So what I can do is I can put some redstone here, power it with a torch, and then the minecart goes up. Without the minecart working, the whole system basically fails and all the chickens will die. Now I'm going to show you some other things that I made. This here is a redstone elevator. So if I, so you can see it's all closed right now, and if I step on the pressure plate, it'll all open. And then I can get inside, and it'll start closing and pushing me up. Sometimes it gets stuck like this, so what I have to do is I have to kill myself to get out of it, because there's no real way to get out. Then I have to fly back to it. So I'm flying there, flying like, I don't know, a bird. And then open up again. It's best to not move when you're going up. Because otherwise, you can get messed up. So here I am at the top. And if I want to go down, I can just press this button and it'll take me down. And when I get to the bottom, I only have about one second to get out, so I have to do it quickly. I'm just going to get up. The wiring is all in the back. And the green or lime wool has the wiring for ascending or going up. And the cyan wool has the wiring for descending or going down. Now I'm going to show you an automatic furnace. So first I'm going to clear my inventory, and then I'm going to get some fuel out, not fuel, coal, and then some diamond ore to be smelted. Then it says here to put the fuel here, so I'll put it in there, and the hopper will take it to the slot. And then I put the diamond ore in there, and the hopper will take it to the slot, and it'll start getting smelted. And then I can stand here and wait for it to get smelted. And it looks like it's done, so it'll throw it out at me. This is what I call an ejector. It'll sense when there's something in it, and then it'll fire it right after that. So you can see what it's called an ejector. Basically, ejects the item out. Now we're going to go back to the chicken farm, so I can prove to you that it actually works. So I'm going to go down the ladder. And you can see here that there's a little bit more than before. Not much more, because... There aren't that many chickens right now, but there is more. So let's summarize what we learned today. We learned about what is redstone, we learned about some basic components, and then we looked at some structures that I had made. This video also concludes part one of the Minecraft tutorial series in which I taught you how to play Minecraft. Part two, in which you will learn how to write a Minecraft mod, is next. Thanks for listening and happy Minecrafting.